Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you that how you can push template to the devices added in the Cisco DNA Center. Like in last class, we have seen that how you can add switches to the DNA Center. Now I'm going to show you that how you can push templates means how you can push configuration from the DNA Center to the device. So let me log in into the DNA Center. First thing, so you have to go to uh, this tab and then template editor, right? So I'm removing uh, the templates that I've created previously so that I can show the default uh, behavior or default configuration. So when, when you uh, land on uh, into this phase, template editor, you will find out there are two types of uh, templates configured already all right but we are going to configure our own templates on the dna center but before that go to provision and see we have devices catalyst 9k and the switch 38150 38150 switch is unreachable for now late no issue we will post the template on the catalyst 9300 switch which is uh, reachable all right so please make sure that you have configured sites because without configuring sites you won't be able to push the templates. You have to assign a device to a site and you also have to create a network profile. Alright, let me delete this one as well so that we can see it from scratch. Delete, yes. And in last class I have already shown you that how you can uh, add sites, building, floor, everything. So now, now let's go to template editor and create a new project. Alright. So I'm creating uh, this new project as 9300 switch. Description. Provisioning of okay, add click on this add template. Now, for example, I want to configure a banner. So I said uh, I'm creating this template to configure banner on the 9300 series switch. Description is an optional configuration. Your choice. Tag. See, already created system configuration or banner configuration. You can even create your own. Like it will give a name like this. So you can click on this create new tag and a new tag will be added. So tag is banner now this is important please pay attention we have to select the device type okay so add it you can you can filter it uh, using the switch like Meraki switches no we have the Cisco switches 2900 no 4010 no 3400 no 6500 no 92, 2900, 4045, 30, 50, 60, 30, 50, 15. Yes, 9300 switches. So, uh, go to put the 192.168.2.17 is the IP address of my switch. Admin. Enable Cisco. Show version. So, as we can see here, We are at 9300L 24 t 4 gig. Okay, so 93L. Yeah, then back to add new template. One device type is selected now. Software type you can see software type is iOS XE. So select iOS XE 
software version 16.12.3a and add now you'll see that a banner has been added a template has been added under the project 9300 switch now what banner you want to configure so please remember that if you are creating templates on the DNS center to push on the devices the template is already in the configuration mode so don't execute this command okay if you are pushing a template it means the configuration is going to be done in the configuration mode so by default the template is already in configuration mode so you don't have to uh, execute configure terminal just uh, enter your commands so for example my command is banner ammo td welcome to ns3 edu all right if you want to change the host name you can do it host name ns3du 9300 all right if you want to configure any uh, like system configuration banner motd line console password auxiliary password enable secret password service password encryption command all right just type it then save and commit okay you can give a note if you want otherwise it is an optional uh, configuration successfully version template to version 1 now after this go to design gurugram b9 and third floor all right so go to now uh, network profiles and create or add a profile switching I've given a name 9300 switch day and template onboarding templates are means the templates which uh, would be pushed to the device at the time of onboarding all right but we have manually onboarded the device so we are not going to configure any onboarding template I'm configuring a uh, day and template day and uh, template means templates which are uh, required to push their day-to-day task so now add first thing you have to select the device type 93 L switch device tag banner the template was also banned save now please make sure that you assign a site to it and the uh, site is assigned provision go to 90 now you can see that cat 9k is the host name by default you can also see it here but after the template the host name will be changed so first thing select on this and tag device tag with this banner template all right then click again action provisioning provision device next want to push the configuration push these templates even it's deployed before click on it it is not going to make any difference for now then deploy when later how uh, like you can you can add the timing here at what time this template uh, should be pushed on the device but right now we want to uh, deploy it instantly so I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on now and apply validating config cat 91k provisioning started show users this is a SSH session with the dnx center cat 9 provision successfully all right if i refresh it
configuration you can see it here the old configuration you can also export the CLI output which is again an interesting feature to uh, keep the backup of the device configuration so you can see the see export CLI output and the CLI output is saved just on a single click all right interfaces you can see the total interfaces are 25 here one interface is up gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 1 show more card to which is a VLAN interface <laughs> see I've just entered and the name has uh, changed automatically because of the template all right you'll see the old template but uh, but let me show you the template here duplicate session admin you can see welcome to ns3 edu so the template has pushed on the device and you can see the difference by yourself the host name has been changed as well as the banner all right let me show you an interesting feature of uh, the dnac click on this action others and command run all right you can run commands on the cisco switch from the dna center Select the device uh, 192, 168, 2.17. So I want to run command on this switch. Select command. So IP route, for example. So IP route, this command. If you want to add, uh, if you want to config, uh, send more than one command, you can add it on here. And then run command. Command executed successfully. You can see the output here. All right. Go back. For example, I want to see the IP address. Show IP interface. Okay. Show running config. For example, run command. command executed successfully show running config so you can see the running configuration okay. all right now you can see the banner has been changed welcome to ns3 ed you can again export it to laptop as a backup file go back you can run more than one command as well. Now let me uh, run show, show running config and show IP route. Both the commands uh, commands has been executed successfully. Uh, you can see the output of show IP route as well as you can see the output of show running config. All right. So more than one commands can be executed uh, simultaneously to the switch go back 